Now, as the shortage of protective equipment continues today, scientists have suggested that homemade face coverings could potentially slow the spread of the coronavirus. Well, earlier on Good Morning Britain, Oxford professor Tricia Greenhalgh explained that the importance of masks lies in double layers. If you have two layers of cotton cloth like this mm -hmm. um, and you put them in front of someone's mouth and nose uh, and you detect what goes on eight inches away, those two layers of cotton will block more than 95% of the droplets. So we're joined now by our home genie, Georgina Burnett, to show us how you can make your very own using everyday household items that you might have at home. Morning, Georgina. So take it away. Good, Good morning. Yeah, well, I mean, as we know, this isn't to be done instead of everything else, like the washing the hands and the social distancing. But, you know, it just adds that bit of protection. But also, as we heard, it's about the layers. So what I have is things that you should all have at home. No sewing involved. You can do sewing if you want to, but it's not necessary with these. You've probably heard about the bandana one. Um, I didn't have a bandana, so I'm using a napkin as well, and that works as well. So put it flat on the table, fold the top down, so that's the length of it, so that it's coming to the middle, and then the bottom to meet in the middle. Then to add your layers, you can use coffee filters, napkins, uh, serviettes, and and also uh, paper towels, something like that, put in the middle there. You then fold this back down again from the top and you fold the bottom into the middle there. So you're actually getting quite a few layers of protection there. You then need to take either rubber bands or hair bands or anything like that, and you put them on each end a few inches down. Oh, oh, there we go. Then the ends are folded into the middle like this, just so that they slightly overlap in the middle. Right. So this is not necessary to sew because actually when you put it on your face, and I know you guys have uh, some I made earlier for you, you just put it against your face <laughs> and you off. put it over your ears. Oh, Phil, it's, uh, it's your colour. This is going to make my lipstick go all over the place. Yes, it, it's it going to make it I can't eat the noodles. It's going to eat my the noodles. Ears aren't big you were doing this. No, my ears the great are... thing. I've got a problem. <laughs> my ears work. Look, look. Oh, I'm sorry. It's difficult to make these without got, the face I think there. if you've got soft ears, they're not sturdy enough. You're saying I've got hard ears? <laughs> Whatever, well, I mean, they have different <laughs> cartilage, don't they? So mine are quite squidgy. <laughs> Um, you could use string or something like that. You don't have to put them behind the ears. I'll show you in a second with another one that's similar. Uh, another one which I really like, it doesn't look that impressive, but this is made out of a T-shirt. And I actually managed to make four out of a small T-shirt. So you can make a number of these. So you take about 20 to 30 centimetre strip, you cut off the bottom of the T-shirt. So then you have this double layered strip and you want to cut an elongated oval shape off the ends like that. You then have what is the sort of covering part here, <laughs> but you don't need it at the back. So at the back, you want to snip those off so you end up with just these here. Now I've got a model in my studio today because it's take the children to uh, work day here. This is Bonnie. Because I want to show you, because this is quite clever the way it works. Again, you would want to put your extra layers inside this. So think of this as the kind of, the, the it's holding it in place. So you put that over the nose, just come around here, darling, and then you tie behind the head like this. Whoops. And then the bottom one comes up to Ooh. tie on the top of the head. And that gives you a really snug fit in there. It's quite yeah, comfortable, that, isn't that, it, buddy? That works better. That doesn't hang off. Right, you can go and do some more homeschooling now. There you go. Thank you, darling. And after, <laughs> so after lockdown, you can then reuse it on your summer holiday as a little bikini, which is <laughs> perfect. <laughs> you might be able to. I don't think I could. <laughs> I, uh, doubt it. I, pr I prefer the other one because it's got more layers. Yeah, well, that's what I'm there. saying, is you put them inside there. So see that as the holding it in place. You, you look like you've got a pair of knickers on your face. I mean, you literally <laughs> do. Uh, it's a bit lopsided well, here. It's going to have a tea towel on his face now, because okay. this one, I thought, a tea towel is something everybody has. And so that we don't have to sew again, you cut 20 to 30 centimetres off the width of your tea towel. 
So you end up with a strip like that. And then you've got the ready-made seams on either end that you thread shoelaces, string, ribbon, whatever you can get your hands on um, to actually get, give you the fastenings. Now, if you are using string or ribbon, you might want to just use sellotape to make the ends a bit harder. If you've got shoelaces, they automatically have that. And this one is all right for people, those strange people that have really soft ears, because this one can tie behind your head. So this oh, is a bit more rustic. It. You're meant to yeah, pull you the bits in, otherwise it's... <laughs> This is fully protective. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What uh, are you doing? OK. <laughs> yeah, you might want to keep your eyes. Actually, that's a good point. And somebody else pointed out that you should also be wearing glasses when you go out because, obviously, droplets can go into the eyes as well. As a very last-minute uh, thing, if you are rushing out the door and you haven't got any of these, and these can be re-washed, by the way, so that's great, um, what about a scarf or a snood? Bring it up over your nose and then just use a hairband or a rubber band to make it tighter at the back. But of course, with all these masks, don't, it doesn't mean to say that you can't carry on smiling. Ah, oh, that's a good one. That's very good. Now, the thing is also, because, you know, there are two schools of thought that, um, you know, whether or not masks are essential, whether or not you should be going out. If you if, don't think Dr Hillary this morning was saying, if you socially distance yourself, you make sure that you are a long way away from another person and yeah. a mask isn't necessary anyway. And remember that a mask is, if uh, it's not going to, protect you from getting something. The mask is actually, if you sneeze and you're wearing the mask, then you are protecting other, other people. people. So by wearing the mask, you're doing your bit. You almost others. feel like everybody needs to do it. Otherwise, it's there's no point, is there? Yeah. No. All right, I also well, think it stops you from putting your hands on your face as well. Yeah. You know, which is one of the things they it's say true. not to do. Makes you more so, aware, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. You've got that. yeah definitely. definitely. All right, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, that was great. Later. Thank you, thank you.